In today's video, I'm turning a five-story elevator into a house in Bloxburg. And each floor is going to be a different style. This brilliant idea was suggested by Roblox Melissa 9477. 9477 on the radio. So thank you for the brilliant idea. We're calling it Slender House. Let's do this. Alrighty, so the first thing we obviously need to do is get an elevator. And I'm so confused at which one to choose. The one with a glass back is probably the best because it's sort of like a big window. And did you know, all you have to press is B and it will increase the height and also decrease your bank account. But I'm thinking like with all these doors, we can have like balconies. So I think we should start with floor number one. Well, duh. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, how did it get up there? And it's actually good it's high up because as you can see, you can't place stuff on the floor. We're going to have to place it on this floor and then bring it down. The first room we're doing is a kitchen. We've got to be very, very space efficient here. So rather than even having a fridge on the side, we're going to deep dive into my heavenly inventory. We have a mini fridge, which can go in the counter. Jump scare? What? <laughs> what? You know what? I'm not even going to ask questions anymore. Goes without question, we're going to add an oven. And I never use this oven on its own because where's the flavor? Where's the flavor? It only looks good when it's inserted into there. And for the cabinets, we're going to have them as glass. Actually, we just said we're saving space, so we should probably use the microwave one. It obviously has a slot in it. Sometimes I I am so dumb. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. Before you come at me saying, Reese's, there's no sink in here, mate. We're gonna add one, okay? This is gonna be probably the most compact kitchen ever. You are literally gonna have to be a slender man. I didn't title it like that for nothing. And I actually think that island is too big. We might have to use basic shape. And just because this is a tiny, tiny, tiny little building, doesn't mean we can't make it really cool. So I'm gonna use the sink as the center of the island. Try your hardest to get that right in the middle there. And then we're just gonna pull it out. I'm kind of feeling like going with contrasting colors. Colors, like very dark gray with very light gray and of course topping it off with a bit of granite and look we've kind of already got a thin square beam on there from the sink i'm gonna work with that the most important part about a kitchen island is obviously the stools we cannot forget these i want to do checkers for the floor but those of mathematicians among us will know you can only have four checkers if there's four spots however time and time again you guys comment and you are like reese's just use a carpet and i just thought eureka that's it how how sick does this look guys but we're not yet done we obviously need to put the appliances in so i don't think i'm gonna waste space putting a microwave we can just put food in the oven okay but we do need things like a kettle a coffee machine a spice rack juice machine also guys side note guess what i finally unlock this and it's so typical the first build i do after unlocking this is a tiny one we're definitely not going to skip out on the pendants we always have to add these and the thing is with elevators we've got to actually make sure there's room to like rise up. You raise me up. I've just got to say that I'm loving how detailed this challenge is making me. I was wondering if we could fit cubbies in here, but honestly, no, sometimes less is more guys. Now the moment of truth, let's call the elevator, put it back in its place. <laughs> Why is this the hardest part of the challenge? Help me! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't believe this actually works. Part of me was thinking it, it wouldn't even work. You also need to pick the wallpaper. So what is more universal than just ghost gray planks? You can kind of be quite clever with the outside and make it brick. So it's like a real house. And oh my gosh, my floor. It took away my checkered flooring. You know what? I'm not standing for that. How dare you? We're going to make this cube tiny. We're then going to take our carpet and put it on top of that cube. I cannot believe we actually managed to finesse that floor, guys. But just before we do anything else i thought it'd be kind of cool to make it look like a real house so what's more iconic than like the pointy roof this looks like those houses they have i think they're in london also this is giving me like fancy vibes so we're gonna resize fancy smint two pillars and yeah we really did just skip a good opportunity here we can actually make like quite a cute little halfway going off to the side really and we can also make use of this floor to make some grassiness i'm really not gonna make this too big though because the focus of this building is obviously the elevator but it does make sense to have some sort of front garden because it is a house after all. Side note, guys, I have school later and I'm so sad. I honestly wish I could just stay at home all day and play Roblox with you guys. Anyway, next I'm adding these Gorgina looking trees and these are gonna really encapsulate the front yard. Why do I have such a good back profile? I actually look slay. I look quite pretty. Other kind of little details that you need to put on a small house are mud piles. I adore mud piles. That's a 
sentence nobody's ever said. And actually, rewind time! You should probably put the rocks in first. It makes it a little bit easier. Studded along these, we can have plants, and the mud just provides a much-needed aesthetic base for all of the pieces of greenery that we want to place. Other things can be like that fountain in the corner. We can even have a gazebo. Oh my gosh, this is just so perfect. Just a couple of these little swing sets. Guys, yeah. normal elevator yeah. versus Reese's elevator. But anyway, back to the actual challenge. The next room is the lounge room. So again, to make this easier, we're going to put a temporary floor. If you guys remember down here, we've got to make sure this space is clear. I think using any sort of double sofas really out. Oh, maybe it's not out of the question. I always speak too soon. That's my issue. So I have a problem with you. Maybe we could use these sophisticated sofas because you can actually put these really, really close together. Pillow wise, I feel like we should go for a more traditional style in this second room. <laughs> This looks so strange. I do want paintings on the walls, which means we're gonna have to get creative once again. If we make a really thin but tall one this time, pretty sure the elevator wall ends about here-ish. It's rather handy dandy that we have space either side. So we can do a little end table. They're gonna have just enough room for all of our favorite things. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. Buy myself all of my favorite things. And I just wanna preface how much room we actually have in here. So I've brought the elevator up. First things first, I'm noticing it's a little bit off center because I forgot it obviously switches up a little bit. I realized this side we can't even have a painting. We're gonna actually have to put a television onto this one. And it's kind of good that we can have like a flat screen plasma. That's actually quite a cool design, isn't it? So for example, we can have the landline telephone in here. Obviously a floor light. Have I made an oopsie daisy? Oh no, I just moved the elevator. I was like, wait, why does this look so weird? Finally, we can add some little trinkets on the floor. So I'm actually gonna add a little balcony up on this first one. And it's giving me ornate stone railing. Oh, we have a little birdie. I'm gonna call you Sapphire. We have got uno, dos, tres more floors to do. I actually wanna skip the middle one and go straight up to a bedroom. We are definitely gonna have to use the Simplicity Kids bed. All of the storage is gonna be have to be in the headboard and at the end of the bed. I'm actually gonna give them giraffe bedding, which is adorable. And we gotta keep them educated, guys. The next generation, okay? And side note, you guys often ask me what year I'm in at school or what grade I'm in. I am in year 13. So I don't know what grade that would be. I think I'd be like um, a senior. So that's our little bed done. We've got our pengu. So cute. Another thing a bedroom obviously needs is storage. We can really make the most out of this with a tall wardrobe or a dresser rather. And I just love to know how this house would work in real life. Look at this collection of towels. You're never going to run out. In real life guys, I actually have a big collection of towels and they're all pink. But like that's kind of really all we can do with the bedroom. Next up is going to be the bathroom. I thought it was important to have this on the second floor because if you're having a humongous, you know, <laughs> number two, then you're not going to want people to hear. So it's, you've got to be on the top floor. And for that extra Instagram girly vibe, we're going to have one of those boards that go across it. I really want to get one of these in real life, but I feel like I just dropped my laptop in. I don't recommend doing this, guys. I'm just doing it for Blocksburg's sake, okay? And if this, <laughs> and if this couldn't get any more data, dangerous. We can add candles as well. Hopefully we don't start a big fire. And at the end of the bed, rather than having this creepy family portrait, no offense to Coeptus, we can instead have these floating shelves, but they're actually floating. That actually does look awesome. Do you know why? Because everything I build is awesome. <laughs> Now, I do remember, actually, we have to bring things in a bit from the side. See, I'm so proud of this. When I saw somebody comment this idea, I honestly shot out of my bed so fast. I was like, that is the most brilliant idea. And honestly, that kind of finishes up our bathroom, which is looking... <laughs> It's looking quite small. Anywho, one room left to do, guys. Laundry room. I think we should do aesthetic for the laundry room. If we actually add a wall in, it's going to make it very easy for us to do the cabinets because we already know that we can have two along this wall. My dream also in line is to have a laundry room in my house. And that might seem like a stupid dream to people who have one. In English houses, I say this all the time, they don't have them. You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Anyway, we're going for a green vibe because I've really had a wake up call with green. Most of you will know I never really liked the color green but I've been obsessed with it I cannot lie I still hate that green that looks like a bogey you think I'm scared of a giant bogey? I've just added another like little shelving unit here of soap $1,700 is that the price it costs to keep clean in Bloxburg these days <gasps> oh that is so cute the final thing I wanted to add is a little chimney and it has been constructed
This art's just ruined my dramatic reveal. Honestly, I wouldn't even think this is an elevator at first glance. It just looks like a really tall house, but a stunning one at that. So the first thing we really obviously notice is the front garden. I didn't put too much crazy effort into this, but obviously I did want to have like a fountain, which doubles up as a swimming pool, you know, our lovely archway where we can mow our lawn. But the real treat that you guys have all been waiting for is the elevator. And just before we look inside, this plot values at $196,000, which considering it's made out of a very expensive elevator, it's not surprising. But here is the big reveal. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze as you're first walking in. Once you're in here, you know, you can actually stand around. We've actually got pretty much everything you need to cook. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, help, help. Ignore that, that didn't just happen. What I mean to say, let's say we wanted a nice slice of toast. You just pop it over here into the toaster and that is our meal of the day. And if we wanna go out and watch some TV, we just press floor two. Oh my gosh, the moment of truth. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it actually worked. So we can turn the light off, it's very bright in here. This is amazing. We obviously get a much bigger window in here. And again, everything's fully functional. We can sit down on this sofa. And of course, this floor is one of two that has a balcony. The lounge is definitely one of the more basic rooms. Let's go to the laundry room. And here we are. So I would be careful if you were to do this in real life. Not that you would, but you might get concussion if you go up too much. But we have our lovely soaps on this side and on this side, actually. And I don't know why we added lights. I forgot the elevator literally has lights itself. You are made of stuff. Stupid. Anyways, again, we can literally do washing here. We take this <laughs> and you can actually do everything. Like, it's so cool. But I'm feeling a little bit tired after all that. I think I need to go take a nap. Here we are in our very purple bedroom. Jeez, it's so bright. On our bedroom, we get another balcony and also our little cubby hole. This is a little bit safer because it has a balcony. Just try not to fall through that little gap there. The most important part is you can actually sleep and it's comfortable as well. Look how comfy I look, guys. And uh, my favorite thing to do when I wake up in the morning is have a bath. So we can just go. Oh my gosh, we get lifted right into our bathroom. We can let out a lovely number two. And this is so private, guys. No one can see me up here. Then we can take a paper towel, you know, cry because that hurts so much. And then, of course, we have our bath, which is the wrong way. So we're going to be watching a great Netflix show from this angle. So there we have it, guys. That was me building a five story elevator house. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you all next time.